So, um, a, a warm welcome here to um, Dr. Bernard Lowris, um, who's Associate Professor in uh, Louvain in Belgium. And we're going to have a discussion on your recent paper on the interferon kinoid um, effects on B cell activation in, in lupus. So, um, maybe you can give our readers a, a very short introduction on the context and background of this yeah, uh, project. Let, yeah, let me put that in, in, in the context. So, you know that there is compelling evidence that interferon alpha plays an important pathogenic role in lupus and several uh, drugs are being developed to block the cytokine. But the, the, the thing is that interferon alpha is not one cytokine, it's 13 different cytokines. Yeah. So, if you develop a monoclonal antibody, then you will just block uh, parts of those cytokines that have, have a very partial effect. So there are strategies, strategies being developed in order to really block all 13 cytokines. One of them is the anti-interferon alpha receptor antibody yeah. developed by Medimmune. And another strategy is the interferon alpha kinoid. So what, what is that? That's um, uh, 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 active um, uh, immunization mm. against uh, interferon alpha. Yeah. Interferon alpha is coupled to a, a strong immunogen mm -hmm. Uh, that activates a strong T cell response against KLH, the immunogen, that provides help to B cells that produce antibodies against interferon alpha. And what you get is a polyclonal uh, um, anti interferon alpha yeah. B cell uh, response uh, with a blocking activity. And we did demonstrate in this paper that the antibodies that are produced against interferon alpha are polyclonal and do block all 13 interferon alpha subtypes. Right, right. So that's the key finding of the study. That's the key uh, finding. So our uh, first results were published in a, a pr previous publication. The kinoid was injected to 21 patients with lupus. Yeah. And what we found was that those patients do respond to the kinoid, do produce anti-interferon alpha antibodies. And the thing is, and that's amazing, it is that the response dis depends on the presence of the interferon alpha signature. Mm -hmm. So the higher the interferon, uh, in the interferon alpha signature, mm -hmm. the, the, the better the immune system is primed and responds better to the kinoid. Mm -hmm. And what we have is a strong correlation between the presence of the interferon signature, the response to the kinoid in terms of production of anti-interferon alpha antibodies, and the decrease of the interferon signature in response to the treatment. Right. So those were our uh, first results. And what we did in the present study yeah. is a long-term follow-up of those patients mm -hmm. who had a long-term response to the kinoid. So out of the 21 patients that were treated with mm -hmm. the kinoid, uh, 10 had neutralizing anti-interferon alpha antibodies, and six of them kept uh, an, uh, anti-interferon alpha antibodies up to three years after the injection of the right. kinoid. Right. And what we described again in those patients was that, again, the titers of the anti-interferon alpha antibody response correlated with the decrease in the interferon alpha signature. Right. And the new thing was that when we mined the transcriptomic data we obtained in the long-term follow-up of those patients, we also found that interferon alpha blockade leads to a significant mm -hmm. decrease um, of a B cell activation signature. Mm -hmm. And that's what we thought was really worth uh, sharing with the readers of rheumatology. It is that when you block interferon alpha, mm -hmm. you block, of course, the interferon alpha signature, but you also block a strong B cell activation response in those patients. And based on those results, we went back to the initial results yeah. of the phase one study mm -hmm. and um, found very similar results. So there is a strong link between interferon alpha blockade and the decrease of genes involved in B cell activation, uh, which is, of course, highly relevant uh, in lupus, right. which is a, a B cell driven disease, obviously. Right. So this, this opens the way, it sounds, for. Um, well, almost uh, pathogenic studies, actually. pathogenic yeah. studies, but also uh, predictive studies where patients are selected. Uh, oh yes, of course. So uh, the phase two study that is yeah. now recruiting worldwide with yeah. the interferon yeah. kinoid actually does certify patients That's based right. on the presence of the interferon signature, yeah. because this is really what predicts response to the uh, to the uh, drug. It is the presence of the interferon alpha signature, yeah. and and that that is actually personalized medicine, yeah. <laughs> uh, truly. Yeah. So so. so 
know, it sounds to me like the beauty of this concept is that you have a disease with B cell hyperactivity, and in fact, you make use of the B cell hyperactivity, right? Yes, uh, absolutely. By immunizing yes. and, and hoping that that's, you will elicit right. a that's strong right. B cell response. Yes, the B cell hyperactivity that is interval alpha driven, and that's, that's, that's right. exactly that's what you right. use. Right. Okay, well, this, this sounds like a, a wonderful, fascinating area, and, and I'm sure this will, um, you know, we'll, we'll wait for the results of the. the, the the follow-up clinical trials. So thank you very much for coming and highlighting this uh, wonderful paper. Thank, thank you. you.